All right, so this tutorial is going to be for equipping equip the weapon and unequip the weapon. And we're also going to do a stealth mode and parkour mode. So for the animation I'm going to use is I have stealth mode. Uh, those are from Maximo. So I have a crouch idle and I have a crouch walk forward. And I also I have the unequip from Frank RPG uh, animation pack the from the Unreal Marketplace. So I have an unequip idol and unequip the weapon. So for this we're also gonna need the equip um, animation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this one and let's call it equip. And in rate scale, I'm gonna play this in reverse, so minus one. So now we have both animation. We can go ahead and uh, both of these create an montage. And over here in the slot, choose the slot that uh, you're using in the in your state machine. So for me, it's full body. So I'm gonna click on full body. And I'm gonna jump straight ahead in the third person character blueprint. This blueprint. Alright. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the. I'm gonna let the user have an input. So, let's say on one. So, over here, we're gonna do a branch. And we're gonna create a new variable. So, prompt a variable. And this is going to be for unsheet. So if the player has the weapon on sheet, and this unsheet, the player is going to be able to attack. So we're going to go ahead. If it's true that the player is on sheet, we're going to set on sheet to false right away, and play the animation. Sorry, and play the animation for uh, unequip the weapon so over here we're going to choose the montage unequip and right after we're going to put a small delay so let's say 1.2 for the duration of the animation and we're going to set visibility of the sword over here this uh, this skeletal mesh component so we're going to set visibility to off and what also we're going to do later on is that we can add to the character the sword that have been uh, unequipped so we can have uh, the sword hanging and it will look better so we're going to hit compile and for this branch also we want to do the same thing but kind of uh, the opposite so on sheet now it's going to be set to true and we're going to play any montage for equipping the weapon so it's going to be this one we're going to give both of these copy paste and all over here it's gonna get new visibility so it's gonna be visible again perfect so now hit compile and look at the character when you press one he's gonna unsheet and when you repress one he's gonna he's gonna have the weapon equipped again so now the thing we're going to fix is that as you can see the weapon is need to be at the other side of him so we're going to put a 180 degree angle so it looks a bit better when he's getting the weapon out of his uh, weapon uh, socket and also what we're going to do after is we're going to get the weapon to hang on his leg because as you can see right now it just disappear perfect so go ahead take this out and comment it unsheeted on 
and over here in the viewport we can take this this uh, this word duplicate and we're gonna call it sheet its word and now we're gonna have this again and this one we can put maybe in the spine so we can go over here and we can get this word and now I'm not gonna put too much attention on this because this is just a quick tutorial so I'm just gonna give it, leave it here about at this point I'm gonna guess this is the right spot for it to hang but uh, obviously in your game uh, you're gonna take the time and uh, find the right exact spot all right so I'm gonna this is gonna be good for now go back to the event graph and basically what you're going to do is when you're setting visibility of this one to off you're setting this one to on and for this word is gonna be the sheeted sword so copy paste when you're setting this one to true setting this one to off perfect and for the 180 degree thing to look a bit more natural so over here what we can do is we can push these and try to rotate the sword when it's going to be e actually equipped and unequipped so we're going to get the sword actually make a bit more space right there is gonna be fine right make it look good uh, over here the sword you're gonna get the owner all right sorry about that get the actor uh, rotation and on this what you can do is split structure by pin and over here make the vector make sure make sure this is plug on the Z and this one on the Y and for the X axis what we can do is we can do plus float and this one gonna be plus 180 plus 180 degree and for this to move we're gonna get the move component 2 the component is gonna be the sword again and over here in target relative rotation is um, yeah sorry about that over here is not gonna be make vector we're gonna make rotator so break this plug this this and over here you're gonna return in target relative rotation so you can play with this over time if you want to move a bit smoother with the animation so I'm not necessarily going to do this right now because I want to make this the quickest as, as possible as fast as possible so I'm going to take this duplicate and just I'm going to show you that if you want to do the same for the other branch you can take the same ID but you're actually gonna but what you're actually gonna do is take the Z axis over here add float and over here you you take 180 degree again and for the overtime I guess I'm gonna put 0 0.5 for now 
and over here also 0 0.5 over here you want the target relative location to be um, at the same place at uh, a relative to the socket that you choose for the sword you don't want it to change so for a quick fix what we're going to do is we're going to go to sword view part and we're going to check every one of these position and we're going to copy paste over here vex so five and minus five So this should be good right here. So you're gonna click compile. And now when we test it, let's see. Okay, we still have this one visible. So we're gonna go real quick over here. And on this sheet of sword, make sure you untick uh, visible. So this is gonna set it off at start. And where we're here, where we're gonna do the unequip, is gonna be like this. And where we're gonna get it back, it's gonna be like this. So perfect. So we're done for this first part. What we're gonna do next is that we're gonna need to have a stealth mode. You're gonna want to have the stealth mode be allowed when uh, we are on uh, on sheet. So over here, what we can do is a new animation blend space so let's call the skeleton is going to be this one and call it stealth mode so over here we're going to get the both crouch idle so right shadow and forward so it's gonna look like this perfect let's hit save and now in the mannequin animation blueprint you want to go in the anim graph then over here you want to get a new state so stealth stealth mode we want it to go back and over here we can put our new stealth mode blend space get the speed and for both of these we're gonna need to cast so what I'm gonna do so and both of these we're gonna need to cast so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to even graph again make a bit of space and create a variable to stealth sorry about that All right. For f so for now, just create a variable and go back to third-person character. And to do the stealth mode again, we're gonna get the input. So let's say left shift. <coughs> and over here, create the variable is stealth. Is stealth and again branch and what you can do is set is tell it's basically the same thing as equip and unequip but we're going to do a couple of things different so over here just get the character movement and get the max walk speed boy 
and we can set it so when we're not installed we can set it to uh, the normal speed and we can also set it where installed and maybe something like 250 and to get the other blend space we're gonna cast over here cast to the animation blueprint get the anim instance the mesh perfect uh, and the variable you want to get is to stale and you want to set it to true as uh, that so no. we want to set it to false for this branch and set it to true for this branch perfect go ahead comment this out stale mode So now we can So now we can go back to the animation blueprint. We're gonna hit compile and in the anim graph we're gonna get both of these if two stealth is true for here and if two stealth is false. and what you could do is that over here if you don't if you have you want to have different animation for running around without the weapon and also running around with the weapon you can do another state over here which is going to be like parkour mode or or let's say unequip idol and once you did that you're basically getting in uh, over here you're basically getting the sheet and unsheet and over here you're getting again the stealth and not stealth so I'm gonna I'm just wanna tell you this but uh, we're not gonna go do this because the animation already look good for um, for both of the purpose so I'm gonna go here, hit compile we, so we don't have error and we can try this out. So now what I can do is I'm gonna unequip the weapon, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to stealth and I'm gonna go back, perfect and you can see you go much faster when you're like this and when you stop you can take the weapon back and then of course we can attack